ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lauren Grace and welcome back to another episode of Throwback Thursday. Today we have a gent an award winning gentleman that has I'm known for his choreography, his dancing, acting, music, um, he does um, PR, um, a man that basically does everything in the industry. Thank you so much John for being on our show. <laughs> like, <laughs> there was just so much. <laughs> yeah, I was like, we're trying to package this. Yeah. No, so when I was like looking through uh, everything you do, I was like, no, I think I have to mention everything. Because being an artist encompasses so many different aspects. Okay, so to start off, um, we'd like to get to know you a little better. Um, so just tell us about how, we, when did you start dancing? Um, yeah. <laughs> really? I'm shy. I have no idea why I'm shy. Why? Really. <laughs> I have no idea either. I've seen you on stage. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, um, all right. John Cole is a multi-award choreographer. I'm um, called an artist indie, which means independent. Mm -hmm. I work with a lot of artists, companies, corporates, individuals, entities, and anyone who wants my services in terms of dance. What we call in the first world, plugged in. Mm -hmm. You want something? I can plug you in. Mm -hmm. If you're looking <laughs> to move to Colombia, I'm the guy. <laughs> Um, so that's what I do generally. Mm -hmm. I'm a father of two. I'm married. I have uh, two boys. Amazing. Mm -hmm. They dance. Super talented. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, that's that's what I do. And I enjoy, you know, the time. I'm a foodie though. Well, You're a foodie? Um, okay. That that's <laughs> that's good to know. If I ever have to do a food yeah, show, we we'll do yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> Are you a good cook? I do cook. You're a really good cook. I can. Uh, I can cook up a storm. My, my, my children love me. Whenever I'm cooking. That's mm -hmm. the second day. Mm -hmm. Everybody be like, it's off. It's, we're ready. It's off. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good to know. Noted. Um, so I just want to, um, when did you start dancing? Where did your love of dance come from, firstly? Um, what inspired you? Because it's not something that everyone picks. Mm -hmm. But it's actually super, um, it's a big part of art. Um, so please, just get into that. Uh, I started dancing in two. Mm -hmm. But in terms of me, mom would record for me, you know, Michael Jackson. You know, I was wearing a cassette. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know the struggle. Yeah. Did that record button. Yeah. Uh, and she's like, so like teaching how to dance like Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. I think that's where I got the love. Dance with my best friend, Leroy Moses. He's mm -hmm. in South Africa mm -hmm. now. He's a designer. Wow. Uh, 2004, 2004, uh, yeah. 2004, yeah, 2004. Mm -hmm. I just left school. Mm -hmm. I was so passionate about dancing. To a point, and then I started working in a textile shop. Oh, and I'd run wow! Why <laughs> <laughs> are you not? <laughs> You're dancing, guy. Dancing, guy. <laughs> um, but that's when you just love something. You're just drawn yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, you yeah, can't. Exactly. And then um, a couple of years later, I, just, I, I decided, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to work mm -hmm. in the textile industry. I want to take it out, you know, in terms of dance. Mm -hmm. That's when I made that decision and I stopped working and I started taking dance full time. Mm -hmm. In between uh, that period, I started working a lot with Joss Fats, I started performing for people like Stana, wow. uh, Freak, Trevor Dongo, uh, all these other artists back then, Urban Grooves time. We, 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 our lineage for, for Urban Grooves is very long. I was part yeah. of that first oh, phase. Oh, wow, yeah. So, yeah, just in a piece of history. And we used to perform at uh, the former, where there is the former. Um, Food court. We're mm -hmm. not going to say names. They're not paying us to advertise. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but those. But now they're no longer there. People know about sports diner. If mm -hmm. you know about sports mm -hmm. diner, that's where we used to perform. Wow. We were called Chocolate City. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate City. That name means it sounds, a lot. Yeah, it sounds a little. Um, Chocolate City. Chocolate I'm just saying, City. Just saying to the ladies, it's like Magic Mike. I was just about to say that it sounds a little, a little strippery. Yeah. <laughs> but I had individuals, and that's the, that's the dance crew that would perform with mm -hmm. Rocky, Stana, and all these mm -hmm. other people. Uh, we had Tuesday nights, Thursday nights, sometimes we would perform every yeah. night. And, you know, uh, my love for entertainment, that's where it really kind of molded itself. Because half the time we had to perform. You can get a drummer to give you money while you perform. Yeah. 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 So. Oh, you 
from a sports injury. You yeah. were originally yeah. like in the first team for cricket, if I'm not mistaken. Not first, I almost made it. Almost, okay. Almost. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Almost made it. No, you could have just left it there. Yeah, yeah, this is really what happens. This is really what happens. Yeah, yeah, this is really what happens. Yeah, yeah, this Uh, so I started performing with a, a group called Chocolate City. Mm -hmm. uh, it was more of like six individuals. Mm -hmm. We used to perform for we performed a lot of places mm -hmm. in a lot of cities. Marondera, Gero, Kwekwe, Kaduoma. We performed in so many cities. Yeah. A lot. It was just like everything. We used to perform with Rocky, Chito, Kaduoma. Yeah, yeah. Uh, from there on, I then moved on. Uh, but before then, I had a dance crew mm -hmm. called the Inmates. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Like. <laughs> Chocolate City in May. Yeah, I've been in like about three dance groups, three, four. Yeah. Um, but here's what I'll tell you. There's a time, I, there's one incident, one performance. Mm -hmm. It was a competition, actually. And we went on stage. And we performed. Mm -hmm. No one else came back up. They just like, nah, I can't control. They're like, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> just, just, just let the air. Like, it was wow. like, that's how it Like, if, I, if, if you were there, you wouldn't believe it. Even if I told you today, you wouldn't believe it. And how, were you, how old were you at the time, if you don't mind? Very young. I think about like 19, 20 And how many years had you been dancing at that point? Four. Four. Wow. Two, two, I don't know. It's coffee. Man, I'm, 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 I'm like 32 now. So, you know. It's been, it's been a couple of years. It's been a couple of years. <laughs> but, you know, so then usually everything started taking up. You know, like I, I stopped for a while and ETC. Uh, and then, you know, I had, I had a kid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Daddy things came about. Yeah. <laughs> Life changed. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then I had to put my priorities straight. Okay. So, trying to put my priorities straight. Uh, I came down to a point where it was either to dance for the passion or to dance to make, make a living. Yeah. My, yeah, it was a bit dicey at the beginning, you know, because you don't really know about so, the industry. I know, like, I mean, being an independent artist when it comes to music is already hard. Mm. I can't imagine <laughs> what it's like being an independent when you were choreographer and dancer, mm -hmm. how did you get yourself in these doors? So you obviously made connections through your early years of dancing, mm -hmm. but how did you get into corporate doors? Like, how did you get people to be like, okay, we need jobs? I think, I think for me, I would say, I think it's just about word of mouth. Okay. Or most of Zimbabwe. Yeah, I would say Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe it's definitely it's word of mouth, yeah. Of mouth. Uh, they'll be like, oh, you know what, John Cole will get you. You know how to do it, right? He'll, you know? he'll get you in so the back, I, I yeah. Here and there, here and there, here and there, you know, push and pull. But obviously, I'm going to be realistic with you guys. Yeah. Uh, when you're growing up, you want to be an artist, you're creative, you make a lot of mistakes. Yeah. And that's real, real yeah. reality on the ground. And it got to a point where it was just like, you know, let's, let's do this, let's do that. But eventually, I sort of grasped. And I kind of like, okay, I, I kind of got to this. Mm -hmm. But for me, you know, I'll, I'll use this as, as a, my, my son was born in 2010. Mm -hmm. Aunt. Yeah. I wasn't much of a violent because I was in the arts industry. Mm. Yeah. I and then Duncan was born a couple of years later. Mm. I see that's when I changed everything because at that point of inception as a father, you have to make decisions. Those decisions are based on your children. Yeah. So when Duncan was born, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have a conversation with my boys and I mm. you know, Duncan, I got to the hospital, I was like, um, here's my my vow to you. As your father, I will do everything possible on this planet to ensure that I will take care of you the best way I can as a father. Mm -hmm. That's the time I changed everything to be the grandmother that you see today. Wow. So I was just like, okay, guys, 
I got three children. <laughs> <laughs> nah, these I guys mean. are going to eat because I'm a boy. You know, yes, as a boy, I was yes. like, these guys eat loaves, man. <laughs> A loaf, a loaf at a time. <laughs> you know, loaf at a time. This is yeah. your loaf. Here's your, your loaf. This is your own yeah, butter. Just cut it in half. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I, I kind of just like said to myself, you know what? I want to change my, my circumstance because I wasn't making money. Yeah. We were not making money. You'd get money here and there. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't like a lot of money. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I would, yeah. I would manage to survive maybe three, four days. Mm -hmm. uh, but in the reality of it, the decision, when I made that decision, when Duncan was born, was the best decision I ever made for mm -hmm. myself mm -hmm. as, as a creative, as a father, as an entertainer. Mm -hmm. Because the moment I said that, I willed my, myself into it. Yes. Do you understand yes. what I'm saying? Yes, I, I willed that faith. I was like, you know. And uh, ever since then, I've been working tirelessly yes. <laughs> to provide the loaves of bread. <laughs> bacon, bro, what you saying? There's no bacon. <laughs> so, you know, after that, I started just like getting corporate gigs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, but most of my corporate gigs, one of the, the things I'll, I'll say to people is the people you meet that you don't expect you to give you a job, actually give you a job. You yeah. know, so you meet someone and they're like, oh, I, I noticed you perform. And, and then there's those people that are like, oh my gosh, yeah, I'm going to get your number and I'm going to contact you on mm -hmm. Monday. And we you, see you. You see them a few <laughs> weeks later and you're like, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I lost, you, I lost your number, I'll get back to you. And yeah. the ones that just literally work silent at the mm -hmm. and they're just like, okay, I'll get hold of you. And after that, that's what I'm saying. Like Everything started just working towards the process and eventually I got to a point where my work itself started just speaking for itself. Yes. However, I will credit that Mukoko was part of the catalyst for mm -hmm. us. Wow. Amara Brown, Titan, I choreographed that, and it just sort of blew up, like boom. Like, no one was ready. We were not ready. You were not even expecting We were just, like, that. chilling like strawberry filling, man. We were just, like, <laughs> 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 we were just chilling. <laughs> so before we carry on with that, we do want to go into one of your songs, yeah, yeah. and then we'll continue this interview. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So right now we have She She. So if you can just give us a little background behind that and how you came about... Yeah, excuse me. Uh, she, she. Yeah. Okay, she, she um, came after Skoro Skoro. Mm -hmm. I'm correct about that. Uh, Ashley East came to me and says, listen, I want to collaborate with you. Yeah. I was like, oh, dope, 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 dope. But I'm fussy about collaboration. Yeah. So it's like, you I think you have to be to be honest <laughs> yes. with you. Yeah. So it took me a very long time to sort of like get me into the studio. Because yeah. I was just like, now, you know. And then one day, she literally rocked up by my crib. Yes. Rocked up. Yes. She said, I'm outside. I was like, yes. okay. <laughs> <laughs> she walks up, she's like, I'm asking, like, yo, bruh, let's do this. I'm like, oh, okay, fine. Book the studio. Book the studio. Uh, we got to, you know, Digital Munka, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Got there. was like, oh, dope, dope, dope. We sat there, and we just, were in the studio, and we're just like, okay, so what are we going to do? Yeah. She's like, okay, this is what I'm doing. She wanted to rap, mm -hmm. initially. <laughs> <laughs> Ash the man. We love you. Love like, you. Really, bro. <laughs> I was like, no, Ashta, <laughs> you're not trying to rap out here. Because she came with a whole... Yes, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And I was looking at the lyrics. Like, Why? What is this? She's like, it's lyrics. I was like, are you crazy? What is this? And she's like, oh, no. And then I was like, no, no, say a few words. Because yeah. when I was in South Africa, mm -hmm. I linked up with a couple of these international artists. Mm -hmm. And they said, you people take music serious. Mm -hmm. Do play, play music. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, play, play. What's play? They said, you just go and say a few words in the top parts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and just, just they have cool words, you know, just like and literally, to be honest, <laughs> it, it kind of made sense, yeah. you know. Yeah. And then, she, she, boom, boom, boom. I was working with Tomoka. We said, okay, I want to beat here, beat there, beat there. I want to drop here, there, there, there. Ash the ears uh, was in the studio. <laughs> and I was just like, no, it's not working out. It's not working out. Because um, she was trying to rap. I was like, no, just like, sort of like, I swear to you, there's, there's literal an audio. I'm, I'm going to say this on TV. And I said to Ashta, she was in the studio. And I pressed the button. I was like, Ashta. Sing like you're making love. <laughs> and then everyone in the studio just looked at me. <laughs> like, like um, are you normal? <laughs> but you know what? It worked. It did work. It worked. It and then work. production was done. Video, uh, I directed it with uh, Chuck mm -hmm. uh, from uh, Envision. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, you know, it was playlisted on Trace Africa. Yeah. First time for a choreographer. So that actually made history. <laughs> for us. Lots of history being Lots made. Lots of history. And, yeah. <laughs> Awesome. So we got to hear the backstory behind it. So let's get into the video and we will see you right after this song.
Like my name is Ash to ease. Watch me do the shishi. Watch me take it down. She, 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 she. She, 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 she. She, 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 she. She, she, she. when we're working in Africa or in mm -hmm. Zimbabwe, we don't have that luxury like Americans have or, you know, anyone from the first world to say, oh, we're going to do X, Y, Z, E, F, G. Mm -hmm. It's record the song, mm -hmm. get it out there, video. Mm -hmm. We don't have time. And usually Literally, yeah. everything is self-sponsored. So we yeah. don't have enough to say, oh, yeah, we've got a bit of money for you. Here you go. So we, we do things by ourselves. So we do it 100%, but mm -hmm. it's usually just like we, we do it just so we, we have some sort of like gauge to see when the next project comes in. However, uh, I will be dropping an album. I cannot wow. talk about the name uh -huh. uh, currently. <laughs> That's fine. But However, just, just the album will it. be will be something different. Mm -hmm. it will so, be something so different. Um, when you say album, um, how how are you involved in the musical project? Are you singing? Are you rapping? Or I was forced to uh, sing twice. What in my life? <laughs> on Shishi, Shishi. So here's what happened on Shishi, right? Yeah. So we're recording. Mm -hmm. And then Tamuka says, oh, her voice, yeah, it's, it's dope, yeah. but we need like a, you know, something. Mm. And then we're just like, oh, so who can? Yeah. 
Yeah. And then he just like goes, are you here, right? And I you here still, right? And I'm like, <laughs> guy. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah. He says, no, 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 go ahead. So I was like, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. I swear to you, I wish we had recorded. I didn't even want to take. Really? One. Move up, hit down, and break it. Hold up, everybody. Collapse. In one take. I just went in and I just sang whatever was in my head. <laughs> and, <it came out. laughs> and he's like, oh, dope. It's a, it's a rap. Thank you. I was like, oh, my God. Wow, so you like an all-rounder artist. So just some questions in terms of like art. What other aspects are you into? Because obviously there's the music. Are you yeah. a painter? No, I'm not a painter. You're not a painter. I'm not a painter. I writer? Do, I do write poems. You do write? Yeah. You're good at poetry? I'm good at poetry. Mm -hmm. Poetry in motion. Poetry in motion. <laughs> I feel like I really like that. I actually watch some of those kind of shows at, at Hyper. Mm. Um, so another question I wanted to ask you. Um, what future projects um, would you be working on where people can get involved and actually come learn from you? Um, like young and aspiring dancers, choreographers, um, anyone that's interested in having you come for a video or something like that. How do we get hold of John? Uh, my Instagram is open, mm -hmm. my Facebook is open, mm -hmm. my number is on social media mm -hmm. somewhere around there. If, if it's you on can get Google. Hold of them, them. Yes. Uh, but I don't ignore anyone in the DM. Okay. If I do mostly just miss it, it's just because I'm busy. Okay. I'm, I'm probably sitting here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you say, John, I DM'd you. Like, no, but I'm working. Yeah. So you can catch me anywhere, really, mm -hmm. on, on social media. Like, mm -hmm. just in DM me. Yeah. I love to work with uh, young and upcoming artists. Yes. Uh, I play right places mm -hmm. all i ask from upcoming and established artists is to be able to um articulate themselves to yes. process themselves yes. there's instances where you help someone to get somewhere mm -hmm. and then because you're using your name yes. for that person yes. this is a big problem with zimbabwe uh, or zimbabwean artists yes. or creators or generally just anyone in life you say oh no you know what uh, I was referred by John Cole, and then you go there and you do maraba, you can fry the beans. Yes, and you just... <laughs> you know, you go fry the beans, and then the, you come back and be like, yo, bro. <laughs> like, this person you said, though. <laughs> you see. And I find a lot of time it's you wanting, you a passion and the vision in someone, mm. and wanting it more than they actually want it for the themselves. That's what the problem is. And it's a problem because a problem. you vouch for someone, and you're like, you know what, I see the potential in this person, mm -hmm. and then they go and they're just like, well, that's That's what happens. That's, that's what happens. And for me, this is what I've always found out. This is why I work with a lot of people. Like, mm. if, if you just say, yo, go to John Cole, I'm like, yeah. what do you need? Okay, make it happen. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are shocked by how, 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 how on top of, of things I am. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, I remember true. this guy's like, yo, I want, I want my artist to perform at this, you know, on this platform. I just DM'd the, you know, WhatsApp the, the director mm -hmm. and the producer. Mm -hmm. Within two minutes, he had a response. But mm -hmm. it was taking him so long to get a response from them. Yes. And the thing I didn't even mention the artist's name, I just said, is a guy who's dope. He wants to come sing, and his manager said, "What's up?" He's like, "Oh yeah, he can come tomorrow." <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm I'm a good plug. You know, <laughs> yeah. holler at me. But also, I work on like a lot of things, like mm -hmm. PR, mm -hmm. and uh, we're working on you know create the creative process for, for a lot of companies. Yes. I used to work for a lot of companies. I work for some yes. companies, and I work for artists yes. too, because I also n sort of like know the process of how mm -hmm. to get to certain mm -hmm. places. Yes, I suppose so. Say, yeah. yeah. So I'm um, usually people are just like, oh, you know, John. And that's what I do. And the truth is, in order to be a, success, a truly successful artist, you have to be able to manage mm. everything when it comes like to be an independent artist. You have, you to. have to be able to market, manage. you got to know. It, it's, there's so much that goes. A lot of people think it's just talent, and mm. there's lots of talent. It's 90% business. 90% business. Yeah. 90 business it's smart. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You've got to be able. Another thing is what we, why, why a lot of people then suffer the consequences of losing money and all these things, because they don't know. You have, you have to be woke. Mm -hmm. It is you. Mm -hmm. You, the individual, have to know how your social media is run, how you're going to run it, what you want to do, mm -hmm. how to write an invoice, all these things. Yes. You have to know them. Yes. So if, if you happen to manage me, I should be able to track what you're doing. Uh, point, point, point in case is Easy e Yes. Right? The dopest rapper, Compton, yes. you know. Tch, oh, tch, 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 tch. Like the yes, of hip -hop pioneers like of hip-hop. Yeah. But he died broke yeah. because he thought that his money was being invested mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. but his manager was scheming off the top yes. it'd be like no 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 they're giving you five thousand dollars it's a lot of money yeah and you're like you oh know? but i'm going to design the clothes and i'm in fancy hotels and exactly you've been mm. respected by the industry but in the long run yes. the, the money is being schemed so you where you get 30 you get 10 where mm -hmm. you're supposed to get all this you know amounts of money mm -hmm. you're getting way less than you're supposed to get yeah 
and you suffer the consequences and he died broke same yeah. thing with TLC they didn't yes. know that the money another thing about artists what they do you need to know your contractual agreements yes you you whenever there's oh I'm taking you out for dinner mm -hmm. it's not on the company mm -hmm. it's on the artist yeah as long as I am having a deal with you mm -hmm. to get the artist forward it's mm -hmm. coming off the artist's pocket yeah. so they thought they had money mm -hmm. in the end it was nothing and I mean you say with like Tony Braxton as well so much happens. And you go and you release these projects where you're selling 15 million copies. And then... And you literally, in the end of it, you're like, okay, I have $100,000 there to my bank account. So I think it's super important to understand every understand aspect your of industry, managing yourself. Be, 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 be on top of your game. Mm -hmm. I, I, I know it takes a lot. People say, you know, you need a manager. I, I Yes, I acquired a manager mm -hmm. last year. But for the past eight years, I've been managing myself. Okay. Yes, yeah. it was slow. Mm -hmm. But I understood. I understand. Yes, yes. So when I have a conversation with my manager... Which most of the times it's like I'm always behind. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay. So it's just like, well, I'm catching up here. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Because you have to know this. You have yeah, to know, yeah. right? If a client get, gets hold of you through an email, you know how to respond. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? A lot of people start writing shorthand. There's a time someone wrote shorthand for me. I was just like looking at it like. You know, you actually like the legitimacy <laughs> of what you're working on really, like you lose it. When you look at shorthand, you're just like, okay, this obviously you're not taking this seriously. Yeah. I, I, just, I just feel like it's almost like a like disrespect to me. Yes. Yeah, because you don't, yes. you're not showing me enough respect to actually type out something. Come with, 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 the, with the vision, mm. you know what I mean? Like, mm. especially, like, a lot of, we get the situations where, you know, someone's like, hi, John, and you're like, hi, how are you doing? Great. Good thanks. Awesome. Good thanks. So, I have an issue. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but for me, if I'm texting you, yeah. hi, my name is John Cole, I'm a multi award winning dance choreographer. My plan or my proposal is X, Y, Z, E, F, G, da, 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 da. Please, thanks, regards, J. Cole. Yeah. Write your story. So when yeah. I read I'm like, okay, this person's serious. Yes. Now I get there, now it's like W-U-T-T. -T, like, I don't, I'm just getting lost, man. Yeah. I'm just like, I don't know what you're and saying. And the truth is, if you, like, man, like, you're busy. You understand you don't have time. So I also personally, I hate that. Hi. <laughs> How are you? And I'm like, can I help? <laughs> get, <laughs> get, I'm like, can we just, sorry, I don't have get, time right now, but can you just get to what it is? Get to the is? point. Zin, 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 yeah. Zin, zin, zin. And I think actually like to say to a lot of people mm -hmm. um say to people that are young and aspiring artists don't do that like be articulate say exactly what it is people don't have time and the truth is when people look at your mission be like okay this guy is hungry he knows what he's talking about mm -hmm. he's confident i want to work with him because the truth is that's your first impression when you contact that's, that's your first impression that email that message that's, that's literally how this person is going to judge you from it's, that point it's, and that's what it is and even when you're introducing yourself mm -hmm. the, the uh, I, I learned this from carl joshua Nube. he says when you introduce yourself You've got 30 seconds. Yeah. Yourself, just make, make an impression. Yeah. So every time I greet someone, I'm like, hi, how are you doing? John Cobb, oh, yeah. winning dance choreographer, <laughs> yeah. an extraordinary recording artist. Yes. And then I go, okay. <laughs> you know, hi, be John. dramatic about who yes. you are. Yes. A lot of people say, John Cobb's dramatic. Yeah, yeah, I'm dramatic, but you're not going to forget me. I was just about to say, you you'll never forget you. Like, forget there you. was that guy. I'm yeah. not been ghetto. Yes. But my, my personality is, I'm yes. out there, I'm outgoing, yes. right? Yes. So people are like, oh my God, you're so dramatic. I'm yeah. like, yeah, but you remember me though. Yeah. And we were like, I'll oh, get that guy to come perform. And I remember, you know, being in school and people are like, oh my gosh, you're so extra. And this and that. I'm like, guys, one day's going to get me paid. Yeah, I know. We get, we get paid. paid. <laughs> <laughs> and I always, like, it's something I always say to like um, other people when they see you walk in a room, you need to know who exactly you are. That, so when you walk in this room, I you must just that. be like, okay, I'm Lauren Grace and I'm an aspiring award winning presenter. I said aspiring because we're getting there just now. <laughs> uh, but you must walk in and know exactly who you know are. Know who you are. And also, it's important that if I'm going to a networking event or I'm going to an award show or whatever, I need to know exactly who it is I'm trying to like target, so to say. Yes. Like, okay, John's there. Mm. Um, I really want to meet with John. I have a prospective proposal, but I, today we're just going to get each other's numbers because of the event we have. Mm. But I need John to remember me. Hi, so, walk in. Hi, John. How are you? So, listen, this is what I'm doing. This, And I find that when some, there's a difference between cocky and confidence. And there's something about someone that's in co corporate that when they see their confidence instantly, they want to meet you with you. Yes. Because they find, because that whole, oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of wanting to be. Because if you don't, if you're not if sure. If you're not sure about yourself. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. And that's, and that's one of the things that, that, that I mean, I'm a go-getter. Yes. If I, if I want something, I'm going to get it done. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I remember the time, like, you know, even, like, when I, when I travel, most of the time, it's on my own dying. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Wow. Most of the time. Mm -hmm. I'm just like. I want to go and do this, E, X, G, E, X, Y. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go. Yeah. And I, I, I get it done. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm not an artist who will wait there and say, listen, I'm looking for sponsorship to do this. Yes. If I need to do something, get it done, get yes. it done. 
you know I mean? You can worry about the, 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 the aesthetics later. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we need to get to a point where we, 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 are, we are we're invested in our, yes. you know, when we invest in ourselves, the way South Africans invest in themselves, the yes. way the American invest in themselves. Mm -hmm. We want corporate to come in when it's, you know, mm -hmm. ready and done. Mm -hmm. Okay, John Cole, this is what's up. This is mm -hmm. where we're going. This is what we're doing. Mm -hmm. A lot of people who approach me, they're like, oh, can you put up uh, a couple of posts on our thingy? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's cool. This is the, how much mm -hmm. I charge for that. And they don't argue. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I've been doing weddings for, 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 for I would say, millennia now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and every time I do a wedding, you know what I mean? There's, there's, there's people, I remember, you know, like, what's, what the funniest thing is, in my, in my wedding business, because that's our core business. Yes. That, okay, well, that was our core business. Mm -hmm. Or it is part of our core business, depending on how you look at it. Mm -hmm. When I started off weddings, I met so many people. So you meet like 12 individuals, 100 individuals. Mm. And all these people, they remember you. Yes. And most of my business has been from the people I've met during my weddings. Wow. You know, so I choreographed it, like, oh, no, that's that dude. Yeah. Call him up, bah, they call you. It's a vibe. Yeah, yeah, it's a vibe, you know what I mean? And I've done weddings. Mm -hmm. And the furthest I've gone to do a wedding is the Philippines. What? <laughs> As in, like, wait, from Zimbabwe to All the, the way from Zimbabwe to the Philippines. And were these Zimbabweans in the Philippines? No, they were in Australia. Flo what? Because that was the funniest call I ever had. As I was saying, they're like, like it's the... Because she dialed me direct. We didn't have WhatsApp yeah. those days, so she dialed direct. So I'm like, hey, what up, my guy? Because I'd done her wedding previously. Mm -hmm. And she's like, yo, what up, guy? So, because he's getting married. I was like, oh, dope. Mm -hmm. So when you guys landed in Zim, I was like, <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? She's like, oh, yeah, we're doing it in the Philippines and whatnot, whatnot. And I'm like, oh, cool, 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 cool. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I'll send you the videos. Yeah. You know? She's yeah. like, what do you mean send us the videos? Mm -hmm. You're coming. I was like, nah, guy. <laughs> Why are you trying to pull my leg? Yeah, it's like, no, legit. And here's the truth. I didn't have a passport. Yeah. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> no, not that. I'll, I'll, I'll come to that story. And then she's like, we're going to the Philippines. And then she, uh, I thought they were lying. A couple of days before, after my birthday, I don't remember. Ticket. I thought she was lying. They purchased the ticket. That must have been amazing. I was just like, wow. Wait, so we'll, we'll get into that. So we just Sorry, yeah. before we run out of time, because there's so much, but that I is, know. But the truth is, that speaks on your talent. <laughs> that, that don't just happen to be like, hey, call this guy from Zim, <laughs> the Philippines. <laughs> anyway, so we just want, um, so if you could introduce um, Skora Skora Free, which is your... Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Arra Skara. Okay, Skora Skora is one of the songs that I started off with. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing song. It features my Noku, a.k.a. Lee McHoney, from Koblawayo, and she's out there. She's doing the things. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Skora Skora. Let's go. Number one hit. With the drama, what the Ananda? Oh, you scored a call. 
<laughs> well, this has been an amazing show. We still have so much to talk about. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Way too much to talk about. I don't even so, think so, we got so, into so we have like a part two, part three. It's loading. It's loading. <laughs> so thank you so much, um, John, for coming in. It has been an absolute pleasure. No, Hopefully, you can get you in the studio. So I used to be a dancer, but I'm not very great. <laughs> so I just like maybe next time when you come in, we we'll can do like some a, moves, because mm, mm, mm. we know you are a very busy man right now. <laughs> no, <laughs> but it's cool. such a pleasure and such it's an honor. And thank you here. for coming in, and we You're will welcome. see you soon. All right. And yes, thank you everybody for joining in. I hope John actually gave you like a lot of information <laughs> like good information um so if you're young and aspiring definitely watch this and um mm -hmm. you get lots of advice mm -hmm. and yes if you want to just say yo people uh, <laughs> y'all people remain 100 uh please hack sanitize be real with it remember one meter apart <laughs> <laughs> thanks so much everybody we are out <laughs> <laughs> Fuck <laughs> <laughs>